Good morning guys here from the city of Mexico. Today is another day, but it's our final day here in Mexico City. Now, as I mentioned before, Mexico City has a lot of different neighborhoods. It's a large area and there's a lot to do. So today we are going to our final two sort of neighborhoods here in Mexico City. We're gonna start off the day here in the Southern Mexico City. We've actually never really been in the Southern part. This area of Mexico is known as Coyoacan. Well, obviously when you're here in Mexico early in the morning, the place that everybody goes to is a market. So obviously here in Coyoacan, we've got to visit the market of Coyoacan. Just like any other market in Mexico, it's busy, there's a lot of people, and they sell basically everything. Although I also did say this one has a lot more piñatas, like there are a ton of piñatas inside. But it's a nice place to walk around. We're like currently like 9.30 in the morning, not everything's open yet. I mean, you can tell all these stalls here outside aren't open yet, but inside it's pretty busy. People are getting breakfast, and I would say, yeah, it's kind of touristy but it's not too touristy it's not too bad it's you still get a bit of like a local feel to it and you know the pinatas there's a lot of them but other than that it's no different than any other market here in mexico you'd find whether it's fruits vegetables and basically food stops if you want to get breakfast it's a nice market not bad at all but we're going to continue walking around coyoacan well we've made it to the central plaza here in coyoacan there are two parts so there's one part like plaza right behind me and then there's another plaza over there. That plaza is basically, they kicked everybody out because they're doing COVID tests. The main thing to see here is the church right behind me, which is at the entrance of the park. This is San Juan Bautista Church. Let's go see what's inside. a pretty nice church I mean you can tell it's really really old just from the outside you can tell but inside they don't allow flash because they have these paintings that were on like the top part of the church and I think they depict like the history of the colonizers who came over and how they sort of evangelized all of Latin America but it's a very very old church inside and they're doing a really good job of protecting it because a lot of those paintings statues and everything they're all pretty old in there but yeah, it's a nice church to check out. This entire area with the park and everything, it's really nice, it's really beautiful, it's really clean. But we're gonna keep on going here in Coyoacan. Now, Coyoacan is a pretty small area, so it's definitely walkable. But if you don't feel like walking around, not to worry because there is a tram that sort of goes through the entire area of Coyoacan, taking you to all the popular sites. I'm not sure exactly how much it costs because it's this place is so small, it's walkable. I didn't even bother going to see how much it costs, but is an option that is available. And from what I understand, it should be pretty affordable and it's super, super accessible. We've currently arrived here at our next stop here in Coyoacan. This is Plaza de la Conchita. <music> 
So the plaza is really nice. They have this little like cross in the middle and there's also a little like chapel but the chapel's closed, you can't go inside. But it, it's nice, it's like a yellow color, it's really old. But what's interesting about this place is that this is where Hernan Cortes, who was one of the conquistadores who came and conquered Mexico from Spain, this is where he spent most of, a lot of his days here. Um, and I think if I'm correct, he actually ended up dying here. Hernan Cortes lived here for a number of years actually and I mean the area is really really nice it's super serene but what I really like is that it's kind of just left to itself like you can see on the cobblestones here you've have, you've got moss growing over it the trees are sort of unkempt even like the cross in the middle you've got like sort of vines and everything it's not like you know Chapultepec where everything is clean the roads are wide it's not like that here it's just really really chill the atmosphere is completely different it's quiet it's chill local people come here and it's just kind of you know a little a bit like you know unkept it's just kind of let it be you know that that's kind of the mentality here and I absolutely love it but this place is really really beautiful next stop is a stop that I would say you probably should make when you're here in Coyacan it's right next to the main plaza area and it's a really beautiful place this is the Mercado Artesanal I would say that if you want to buy a souvenir here from Mexico City, this is the place to do it. First, it's local. Second, it's probably cheaper than if you're doing it in downtown Mexico. And third, it's all a lot of like local artisan work, which is really, really nice. You're supporting local artists here. But yeah, I would highly recommend going there and buying a souvenir if that's what you want to do. But just looking around, it's a really nice place to just walk around for maybe a couple minutes. Uh, they're opening up the stalls right now, so we're pretty early, but still a pretty cool place to visit. Well. Coyoacan is a nice area to walk around, but it's a pretty small area and honestly after a few hours That's pretty much it. If you're not gonna see the museum, the Frida Kahlo Museum There's really not that much to Coyoacan. It's a nice area to walk around and I will say It's just as beautiful as Condesa and Roma Norte without all the gentrification So I much prefer this place than Roma Norte and Condesa, but it's a nice place to walk around But like I said, there's really not that much to do so i guess we are going to head on to the second neighborhood that we're going to explore today here in mexico city well after a train ride and a confusing bus ride we finally made it to our next neighborhood we're gonna explore here in Mexico City. This is Polanco. For me, the main thing to see here in Polanco is this really famous museum. Right behind me, it's a pretty weird shape, but it's Museo Sumaya. Let's go ahead and see if we can get inside. Well, that was a pretty overwhelming museum. The best part is that it's completely free. So Museo Sumaya is zero peso entrance fee. But for me, I think that there was just so much to see. There's so much artwork in there. Each level of the museum is dedicated to a theme. So like you've got Asian art, you've got Mexican art, you've got like Western European art. They've got all these different sort of levels, but it's just so big inside. There's so much artwork. There's so much to see. You could easily, if you're like an art fan, you could easily spend a day in there and you would still probably not have seen anything. I've seen everything at least. It's just too much to do, it's too much to see. By like the fourth floor, I just gave up and left because it's just too much. But definitely, if you're here, go check it out. It's completely free, so go ahead. And they have really, really nice bathrooms. It's very random, but they have the most amazing bathrooms I've seen here in Mexico. So go check those out as well. Well, we 
we've been walking around Olango for a little bit now and we've left the Sumaya area in the museum and we've come to our next stop here this is Parroquia San Agustin <laughs> Well, there's no doubt that that is a pretty new church on the inside, especially compared to the one we saw in Palanco today. That's brand new. I mean, those tiles are clean, everything. I mean, it's not like brand new, but you can tell it's probably built in the last 20, 30 years, probably. It's a fairly new church, but it's a nice church. There's nothing like really fancy about it or intricate, but no like gold ornaments or anything like that. But it's a nice church to go and visit. And right here in the heart of Polanco, and our final stop for the day, we finally made it here. This is Parque Americas. I would say that this is a pretty nice park. If you're a skateboarder, perfect place. They've got like a little like pool sort of thing where you can go in and skate around a lot of skateboarders here. And yeah, the slopes are pretty much perfect for you to practice skateboarding around here. But the park is really nice, there's not that many people. And well, it's Polanco. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but Polanco is kind of like this skyscraper area, but with a bunch of fancy apartments. It's kind of like the combination between Condesa and Reforma together. It's, it's a pretty interesting place. Most of the people here are pretty affluent. It's a pretty safe place to be as well here in Polanco. I would say that it's definitely less gentrified than Condesa or Roma Norte. I do like it here, but it's still, you know, pretty nice developed. It's just really, really posh for the people living here. I mean, the same can be said about Coyoacan, although I don't think Coyoacan is as developed as nice. I mean, there's no skyscrapers in Coyoacan for sure. But it's been an amazing day here in Mexico City. We may have visited two of the main neighborhoods, Coyoacan and Polanco. And I have to say, I mean, Polanco, there's really not much to do. You can just walk around. It's a nice place, but honestly, the main thing you do here is the museum, Somaya Museum. In Polanco, the main thing you're going to do is probably the Frida Kahlo House Museum, which we didn't get to do today because the tickets are sold out. But I did hear that it's not really that great, so do consider whether you want to spend 250 pesos on that. But Coyoacan's a really nice place. I think it's really, really beautiful. The really colorful street art and the houses are just really, really nice to go and visit. So definitely two neighborhoods I would consider visiting when I would come to Mexico City. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's the last video here for Mexico City. So the next videos are going to be out of Mexico City. It's also about to rain because, you know, that's what the weather is like here in Mexico City. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.